Kirill. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Ted! Do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them, must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still... This is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found the door. the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Yes,
communication device and use it. Fellas, I'm going down here. Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel! No saving ammo! Roger that! Clear. Move out. HQ, Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. It's either us or them! We'll get them no out! No problem! We'll get them, sir! Let them come! We're ready!
Can you walk, sir? What's going on? Gas! Bastards! They're using gas! Get out, everyone! Gas! It's gas! Hold on, sir. I'll help. Just hold on. I'll report to the general. Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? Recovering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? What difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me, though. <coughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left without us! Get Sir Yoga on the line now! <coughs> what? Dead? Sir Yoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <coughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <laughs> so long, Slava. <coughs> Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and he didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. Kirill, Miller here. I'm at the bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the crater side, so please, be careful. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out.
Pine, this is Alder. Come in, over. Alder, this is Pine. Speak, over. Private, I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Midnight sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Locked. I'm eating the liver too. I'm burning the slime, and I don't go to the thirsty stations ever. Dad, you want the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Alder. Over and out. Pine, come in. Over. Pine here. Over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out. to evacuate the complex immediately. Attention. Reactor biological shielding is compromised. 
Reactor containment failure. Switching to reserve now. Reactor containment failure. Reserve power engaged. Reactor containment failure. Reserve power engaged. Reserve power source failing.
complex immediately. to evacuate the complex immediately. Preparation is forty percent complete. System reboot preparation is sixty percent complete. System will reboot now. Evacuate the complex immediately. Biological 
Evacuate the complex immediately. All personnel are to evacuate the complex immediately.
Kirill, I'm coming back. I just need a tiny bit of rest. I'm just so tired. There you are, brother. Hmm. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chafe. <laughs> Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children. It's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her. To her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Creel, I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Artyom, stay with me! Hold on, son.